Okay, you're in the beer room. It's time for another beer review. It's another weekend, so why not kick it off with a beautiful Pacific Pale Ale. This one from the Coopers Brewery in South Australia. Everyone knows Coopers. Aussie icons. And this is the Big Beer Show. So thanks for joining me. So, um... Uh, First up, we'll just give you a bit of beer news. We'll try to keep this under 10 minutes because I know you don't have a very long expansion tan, span. So, Beer Cartel, place where you can buy beers online or you can actually go to their shop. I think they're in Chatswood or somewhere. They got 10% off site-wide on International, International Beer Day. So, get in early because it's probably gonna be finished. Uh, Mountain Culture. Uh, DJ's been on a sailing trip somewhere and they've got a few new releases they've got their Zero Mississippi Triple IPA so you can get 16 of them for 70 bucks they've got the Double Oak Cream IPA starting at 48 bucks and they've got the Wondrous Apparition New England IPA $46 and as well Side Quest Double Dry Hopped IPA from $46. So you get your mixed packs also from there from Mountain Culture. Um, Bridge Road Brewery's got a new release. They've got their um, New Sky IPA Volume 6. That's an oat latte. It's got El Dorado, Maziac, Sabro and Espresso Hops. So the new Sky is our limited IPA project. We approach each beer with blah, blah, blah. Uh, first impressions are aromas of lifted candy and coconut cream courtesy of the Mosaic and Sabro hops. Of the palate, the beer brings to mind the decades of Vietnamese iced coffee before a breezy tropical finish leaves you with the faintest of caffeinated buzzers. So, uh, that's a bit what's going on at the moment. If you want, go booze bar. They've got their Father's Day specials on. Uh, I saw on Brew News that the mighty, I think it's the mighty craft brewery who own um, breweries such as Foghorn, uh, Better Beer, uh, and a few others. They're selling off a lot of these breweries so we don't really know what's going on with the better beer, whether they're gonna keep better beer or whether that'll get sold up as well. So that's a bit of brew news. Let's crack open this Coopers. We should have given it a roll. We'll just give it a roll. A bit of spillage. Look at that, she's frothing away. So this is the sixth out of the six pack I bought. Um, I think the six pack was about 22 bucks. That was at um, Chamberella's. So as we know with um, Coopers, they condition it in the bottle, or in this case, the can. So it's gonna be a little, a little bit hazy, which I don't know if you can actually see that, but it is a little bit hazy. Huge amount of carbonation, you will get sediment. I'm doing it in this Cooper's um, midi glass. So um, when I pour the next bit in, you'll probably uh, see what I'm talking about with the um, sediment. Okay, so this one's, we'll give you a bit of a read on the can. Cooper's is renowned for its expertise in top fermentation and natural can conditioning. This process gives Pacific Pale Ale its cloudy appearance and a fruity and floral aroma. Dry hopping enhances these notes to highlight tropical and citrus fruit characters. The outcome is a refreshing palate finishing with a crisp bitterness. Brewed from Cooper's Pale Malt, Melba and Galaxy Hops, for our distinctive taste, jelly roll the can, which I did. Brewed and canned by Cooper's Brewery Limited, blah, 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 South Australia. So, 
that's what it says. So it's got Melba and Galaxy. So the Galaxy is going to give it a lot of that citrusy, fruity, tropical flavours. And the Melba, depending on when they add it to the brew, and I'm be guessing they would have added it at the start, should give it a bit of a spiciness. So we'll smell it. Smells like beer. Slight tropical smell. That's about it. It's um I don't know if you can see that colour. Hazy, straw, coloured amber. Give it a taste. Let's see how she goes. Yep, it's got that, like they say, it's a bit spicy, spicy to start, so not chilli spicy, more just that floral sort of spicy flavours, the back end, you hear the hit of citrusy and bitterness, um, for a bit of zest, I guess, from that, um, from the galaxy, from the galaxy hops. So Pacific Pale Ales are made famous by um, Stone of Wood, I guess. Everyone loves the Stone of Wood, Pacific Pale Ale. Who else makes a Pale Ale uh, Pacific? Um, can't really see. I think the Foghorn was one. Uh, but this is a pretty easy drink, and like I said, this is my sixth, and I still feel like I could go another six-pack of these. Um, So it's, like I said, spicy, citrusy, zesty at the end, um, quite refreshing to drink, nice for a Cooper's, it's tasting pretty clean. So we'll just put the rest in, we might get some of that sediment in there, don't be scared of the sediment, that's just the leftover malts and yeast. They're good for you. They'll put hairs on your chest. So, I can see them floating around there. Not sure if you can. There's a bit of dark floaties and a bit of white floaties. So, it's all happening. It's got yeast and it's got malt floating around it. And the second pour, it's a lot more hazy. It's pretty much like when you pour your home brew. Wow, miss my mouth. All right, so I'm really enjoying this uh, Pacific Pale Ale. I think, don't know if I actually said the percentage, it's 4.2. Um, I'm gonna give it a send it out of five. I'm really loving it, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a 4.198. 4.198 for the Cooper's Pacific Pale Ale. It's an all-rounder. Drink it a winner, drink it in summer. Drink it whatever you fucking can. So, that's my review of the Cooper's Pacific Pale Ale. That's the big show, the big beer show over for tonight. You all have yourself a good weekend and We'll see you next week. Fucking send it. Ah, full of sediment goodness.